Device Connection In this first video about Toolbox Drum at 5 editor, we will take a look at the connection of the drum module to Mac and PC and review the folder and file structure of the device. With the help of a standard USB cable, this module can be connected fairly easy. To start in USB mode, turn the device on and push the upper left button above the display. It will now be recognized as an external drive. Click on the drive and you will see all the files and folders that are saved on a module. Folder and File Structure All sounds are in the folders. They are saved in their own DSND format and can be set up on your own desires. But more about this later. In addition to the sounds, there are loops that can be played back. In the folder Songs, there are playalongs in regular WAV format. They can be used as backing for jamming or live playback. Notably, the folder and file structure can be altered freely. You can add, rename and copy or move files and folders. Next, we will look at the system files. The Drummit 124.bin is the operating system, virtually the software of the module. 124 stands for the version, in this case 1.24. To update, you can download the current version from the Toolbox website. Version 1.26 and move it through drag and drop onto the Toolbox drive. The old operating system can but does not need to be deleted, since after restart the new version will automatically be detected and loaded instead of the old version. The drumit.dkit is the so-called user kit bank, in which not only the 100 free editable kits, which are the presets, are saved, but also the global settings of the unit menu. This is the centerpiece of all the settings which the editor has access to as well. This user kit bank will load automatically after start of the device. The individual presets in this bank can be adjusted or edited at a later time with the kit editor. The drumit init.dkit includes the factory settings and is being used during a factory reset. How to do a factory reset is described in the modules manual. There's also a empty.dkit. This is a completely empty kit bank that can be configured as desired by the user with the help of the editor. Specially created kit banks can also be saved in their own names. In this way, we can create different kit banks for either dramas or bands. Upon booting of the module, individual user kit banks can be selected and loaded on demand. Last but not least, here we find the quick start guide and the user manual in PDF format. Backup To backup self created sounds, loops, and user kit banks for saving space on the module, all folders can be copied and saved by drag and drop. We can create a folder on the external hard drive and name it comprehensively. For example, Toolbox from it 5 Backup plus date. Now, by drag and drop, we can copy the desired files and folders, or better yet, the entire contents of the Drummit 5 drive into your backup folder. Done. As you can see, the management of the files on the Drummit 5 is pretty easy and lets us use the sound and setup files in a flexible way. Have fun trying it on your own.